guys. It's not seen here. Now, the Galaxy Watch 5 is in the exact same predicament as the Apple Watch Series 8. And please, hear me out. Now, the reason that I say this is because both of these watches are very directionless in terms of actual progression. The Galaxy Watch 5 is the exact same as the Galaxy Watch 4, and the Apple Watch Series 8 is exactly the same as the Series 7. And both of these watches are often overshadowed by their newer, yet better counterparts. So in terms of quality and freshness, many people will be looking to get the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro or even the Apple Watch Ultra. So just like the Series 8, the Galaxy Watch 5 is having an identity crisis. It's not the best watch in the lineup no more, so that has forced Samsung to limit it and put it at a cheaper price. But many people are gonna go for the Galaxy Watch 4 since that one is even cheaper. And even though I have really enjoyed the watch as a whole, I will say that its identity crisis has me worried for upcoming models, and most importantly, its longevity. But besides my worries about the Galaxy Watch 5 and its future, I wanted to share my experience with you guys to help you decide whether or not it's worth buying. Now the Galaxy Watch 5 has a 40mm and a 44mm display that really gave me the best of both worlds. If you want a bigger display that resembles the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, you can get the 44, but I opted for the smaller 40 instead. Everything was still very easy to read, colorful, vibrant, and felt very high quality compared to the older Galaxy Watch 4. Samsung has also decided to get rid of the rotating bezels, but you're not missing much since you can still rotate it using a digital bezel. Now in my opinion the rotating bezel responded a little quicker than the digital but I didn't mind it too much since it still was pretty fast. Now something that I would say wasn't as good as the 5 Pro was the fact that the display didn't handle fingerprints as well but that wasn't the case on the 5 Pro. Now the last thing that was a major improvement for me when it comes to the display was the responsiveness. Like whenever I was scrolling through the OS I got much less lags when compared to the Galaxy Watch 4. Everything felt very sleek and I loved all the little animations within the display. Now the battery on the Galaxy Watch 5 was really good especially when you consider the price. I was able to last two full days before I had to charge it up again and during that period I would check notifications through my watch, change music, make calls, and track my sleep. And I was amazed how it could track my sleep and still be able to last that long since it's doing a lot of work when it's not on. I also used it as my alarm clock which put extra strain on it and it still was able to last long. And one thing that I will say is that if you do get the 5, the biggest benefit is that you'll be able to check your sleep in a much more comfortable manner. Whenever I was sleeping with my 5 on, I barely noticed that it was on my wrist and it was as light as a feather. And there are times where I would forget to charge it or accidentally fall asleep with it on, but with the Galaxy Galaxy Watch 5, I have that extra breathing room and can afford for getting to charge it without having to worry as much. Also, my two day period was based on the fact that I want the extra mile and use extra functions. So if you're someone who isn't gonna go to bed or use sleep tracking or any other features, the battery will last even longer. Now, when it comes to charging, I'll usually charge my watch when I'm in the shower or getting ready. So it will take me about an hour and a half to charge it to 100%. Now, I was really glad when I seen that the Galaxy Watch 5 was gonna keep using the same watch bands as the previous models. One of the most annoying things when it came to the 5 Pro was that they implemented a new band that wasn't really that good. But with this watch, I could still be able to get not only the comfort of the standard band, but it was so much easier to put on and I didn't have to adjust anything because I've used these watch bands before. Now this is a personal preference, so if you're someone who isn't fond of the Samsung bands, you can always cop a third party classic watch band to make your life much easier. Now currently, my watch is on One UI 4.5 and Wear OS 3.5 and I will say that in terms of visual experience, it looks very similar, but compared to last year, there have been some significant changes. The Google Assistant is now already on the 5, which is great for people that use voice commands on their smartphone watch. Just like everyone knows, Google Assistant is very sharp when it comes to recognizing commands and is a much better alternative to Bixby. Every app that I went into wasn't flashy, but that's a good thing. Everything was straight to the point so that you're not wasting too much time toggling through your smartwatch. And the only problem that I had with the Galaxy Watch 5 was the Google Play Store and its lack of apps. And I think that this is a problem with most smartwatches. They don't have every music app and many other apps that I would like on it. And it's really behind when it comes to apps. But overall, it still has that same look as the Galaxy Watch 4, but feels much more smoother and much more premium. You get those same functions that you're familiar with and Samsung was able to capitalize on the aspect. Now it's safe to say that whatever workout or sport that you do in your daily life, the Samsung Health app will have a tracker that specializes in that exercise. Like right here, you can see all of the different workouts that this app has in its catalog. My favorite thing about working out with my 5 is that it'll decide to automatically track it for me. It'll decide to automatically track my workout for me, which again is a very helpful feature whenever I forget to manually do it myself. And there are many measure systems within the 5, but the only one that I really like using is the stress one because that one lets me know if I need to chill out. And the last thing that I liked when it came to fitness was that after I was done my run, I would check my stats on my watch and it would tell me every stat of my run. And not only did I know what was going on, but I also knew what I could improve on. Now coming to my final conclusion, I think that the Galaxy Watch 5 is a really great watch that has a lot to offer and it should be the watch that most people opt for. But if I'm being honest, the Galaxy Watch 4 is pretty much the same thing. And I say this because most people aren't going to use all of the extra features that the 5 Pro has to offer. With the 5, you'll still be able to do everything and you're going to get accurate measurements when it comes to fitness but so will the four. So overall, I think that if you can find a really good deal, 
you should go with the Galaxy Watch 4, but if not, the 5 isn't really bad because it's not extremely expensive. But again, I really want to see where Samsung and Apple take their mid-range watches and hopefully they can add some significance to the overall smartwatch market. With the Galaxy Watch 4, you'll still be able to get Google Assistant, you'll still have an extremely identical look, you'll still be able to get the same apps, and you'll still be able to do everything that the Watch 5 can do. So the Galaxy Watch 4 is clearly the winner when it comes to value. But again, the Galaxy Watch 5 isn't that expensive, so you're not really missing out on too much. You get that new feeling, and you also get a new product instead of a used one. So if I'm being honest, it's all pretty much based on preference. And there it is, my review on the Galaxy Watch 5. Now, let me know down below, do you guys agree with my statement on the Galaxy Watch 5 and the Apple Watch Series 8? Let me know. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you for sticking around. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. It will be very appreciated. And as far as social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.